Hi there, this is my recreation of the computer panel from the M5 computer from Star Trek, the original series. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this, this is just more how to use it uh, for those who are looking at, uh, on eBay and, and Etsy. So, uh, there's 46 lighted segments here just like there is from the series. I tried to, I went through and freeze framed it and got, you know, the, the, the order and the patterns and the colors and the placement um, as accurate as I could. So what this consists of, obviously you have your panel here, it's just you know plexiglass on the outside, but you have a, an on off switch right here, and then you have a, a, a micro USB port there, uh, and then a touch sensor right here, which is how you, you control it. So obviously you can you turn it on here and it'll immediately go into you know, the slow thinking mode, right, when the computer's not really active. Um, and how you control the modes for this is you just, if you hit the touch sensor while it's running right here, It'll uh, immediately go into, to, well, it'll display whatever mode it's in. So you have three green modes, uh, three yellow modes, and three blue modes. Um, and then each of those are divided out into four. So I can just hit the touch sensor here and just kind of go through them. So there's, there's the, four, the four green modes. Then we'll go to the four yellow modes. And then we'll go through the, the four blue modes. So the green modes are for the M5. So obviously we were watching this one, which is what it goes when you first turn it on which is, you know, when you first turn it on, it's in that slow thinking mode. If you want to go into where it's, uh, you know, the, the, basically the computer, the CPU's active, that's the second one. So you touch it, activate it, and then touch it again for under half a second and switch, hold it, and that's, it goes to there. So uh, there's a the third mode here is just to keep it screen accurate. And, and what I mean by that, so when, when, if you watch the original series, you watch this episode, um, there's actually two different ways the light blinks. So if you look here, I'm gonna go back to the first screen mode, second one here. If you look, oops, sorry, my bad. If you look here, um, these two lights are in the cycle and they are always blinking. Um, actually, when they were filming this, I think in a lot of the still shots, those were actually stuck on and so that's what this does, it just makes exactly how they did it in, oh, there we go, in the film. So these two are always stuck on, and again, if you watch the series, that other than the end when it was shutting off, those two were always on um, during the original episode. So that, that's why they're included. So then you have this fourth mode, and that just switches between the first and second mode, so you can kind of have it switch, and it's, it's, it's random. Um, it'll go, you know, 10 to 15 seconds and switch to the other one, just so if you want to have it back on display. Um, after the the, the green modes you have, the yellow modes, and the yellow modes are for the, the they redress this prop a couple episodes later for um, the Enterprise, well, no, the Enterprise, which was it? It was, uh, oh shoot, it was the 20, 24th episode of the second season. So um, they basically redid this as the Beta 5 computer, Simon Earth, <laughs> Simon Earth. Uh, uh, and they, re they redressed the basic same prop and uh, this mimics the modes for that. And basically all they did for that is they sped, they, they, they flipped it 180 degrees. So to get it to, to be exactly to match, you do have to flip it 180 degrees like that. And uh, uh, again, they, instead of being a six second loop, like in the years, they, they, they ran a four second loop. And then for the second one, they just ran it a little bit faster still. And that's where it's thinking. Um, so if you want to again, if you want to match it exactly, you have to flip it 180 degrees for the Beta 5, and also for the Atavacron. They, they used the exact same prop for the Atavacron. Didn't make any changes for that. Then for the screen accurate mode, um, the only real difference with that is that in, if you look when they when they redressed this and did it, they they broke one of the cellophane covers, and that's just mimicked here. There's a the, the, the there's like a white. If you look right here. Uh, when it goes on and it will go on every in this mode it's every four seconds to match it so um and that just just it is just to match with what they did in the series because and they didn't fix that for the uh a tavacron either so it stayed in for the rest of the life so and that's it really you have again same thing where it bounces between the two modes um for this and that is that's that's it for the uh, tavacron and for the beta 5. so the last one are the blue modes Excuse me, sorry, down one. And the blue modes are just custom ones, just I was having, you know, I was having a bit of fun. Um, the first one will just kind of 
randomly go through the horizontal ones and then the vertical ones and it just switches between the two. Um, of course, now it's going to do all horizontal because I'm, there we go. So basically that. The second one is just randomly puts the lights on uh, and obviously cycles through the colors. Uh, and that's it. And then the, the third one is basically the same as number two, but it does a slower fade in. Um, and again, these are just kind of, you know, using the same what you have here to give it kind of an interesting effect. So, and that's it. Um, you know, this thing's really meant to be plugged in, obviously, and used uh, from a micro USB port. Um, but it does have a battery. Uh, it'll run it maybe for an hour at best. I just, you know, we had a little room put in there, and I thought it's just probably better to have it so you can you know, temporarily remove it and show people. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you.